Hi, I'm Chris from Cloudflare. If your organization is struggling to safely embrace generative AI tools, then you're in the right place. I want to show you how we provide you with an AI governance framework that gives you complete control over AI usage, from blocking unsanctioned tools, redirecting to approved alternatives, and monitoring user prompts and output for sensitive information. In this specific example, we're going to take a look at a company that has developed and deployed its own AI tool because they want more control over where their data lives and who has access to it. And after the video, if you want to better understand all the details, please check out the description for links to more videos, links to our reference architectures, and also how to get a Cloudflare expert to run a deep dive workshop for you. But here's what's happening in organizations everywhere right now. Your employees are using AI tools like ChatGPT, Cloud, Copilot, and dozens of others to save time and increase their productivity. But each time they paste in customer data, source code, financial information, or other sensitive content to a public AI, you're looking at a potential data breach that's just waiting to happen. And the solution cannot be to just block these tools. That'll only create a productivity bottleneck. You need to access AI in a way that still keeps your data secure. When you adopt Cloudflare, you're creating a private network on the public internet using our massive global edge network. You'll onboard your users, your apps, and your data to Cloudflare, and we'll handle all of the policy enforcement and network services from there. So now, instead of your employees connecting directly to public AI tools, their traffic is going to flow through Cloudflare first. And this is going to give us multiple layers of control over AI usage. First, you can block requests to unsanctioned AI services and redirect users to approved corporate alternatives. Second, instead of using a public AI tool, you can build your own model on our serverless compute platform, Cloudflare Workers. By building your own tools, you have more control over what data it has access to and where it's stored. Third, by using a private AI tool, you can inspect employee prompts and outputs to prevent sensitive data from being shared or misused. And by positioning Cloudflare as the gateway for all internet traffic, we help you eliminate risks associated with sensitive data exposure, compliance violations, and uncontrolled AI spend. But let's see how this works under the hood, starting from the perspective of an employee at your organization trying to get to their AI tool of choice. In this scenario, a remote employee navigates to ChatGPT to help them write an email while also using a non-corporate device and while off a corporate network. But in this scenario, where we've already onboarded Cloudflare to your business, this first request is going to hit our secure web gateway. A content filtering policy immediately identifies this as an unsanctioned AI tool and blocks it. But rather than just showing a generic access denied page, a custom message will explain why it was blocked. Cloudflare will coach the employee to use the corporate AI tool instead. And it'll also provide a link to the approved application that's hosted in Cloudflare infrastructure. So when I click on that link, I'm taken to my company's private AI tool. And while you can accomplish this scenario with services hosted in other hyperscalers, the key detail here is that Cloudflare gives you a comprehensive platform for the security controls and the AI infrastructure itself. But your users, they don't automatically get access to this private tool. Here, the user is going to hit another policy enforcement point in our ZTNA solution, Cloudflare Access. Here, we have identity and device posture rules that secure access to our private AI tool, like requiring employees to use multi-factor authentication when logging in, or to access this application with a managed device. The employee gets access to the AI only after successfully authenticating. And for users on unmanaged devices, like the one in this scenario, you can add additional layers of controls by rendering the app in an isolated session. Cloudflare is going to create a headless browser on its network, complete the request to the AI application, and then deliver the end results to the end user's local machine. It also allows you to add data protection controls to the session, such as blocking copy-paste, blocking uploads and downloads, or even restricting the use of the keyboard altogether. And in this case, since the user is coming from an unapproved device, we want to give them access to the corporate AI tool, but also restrict what all they can do while in the browser. So at this point, we've demonstrated how four different Cloudflare services are interoperating to create a secure AI environment. 
Secure Web Gateway policies have redirected traffic to a private AI hosted in Cloudflare. This AI tool is protected by our ZTNA service, and sessions from unmanaged devices to this AI are proxied through a remote browser. But that's only half the solution. Now, how are we going to make sure employees don't abuse AI to exfiltrate company data? Right? Like, this private AI has access to employee and business records. And we want to make sure, for example, that only executives have access to things like future acquisitions or everybody's social security number. And the answer to that is in our specialized AI gateway service. Now, AI Gateway is going to be sitting between the app front end and the AI models that you're calling, acting as a proxy that can inspect, log, and control prompts and responses. And it's going to notice if I suddenly start asking the LLM for sensitive information and then block that request. Now, let's say I ask it to retrieve a customer's social security number. The prompt is going to make it through to the LLM, but the AI application will return an error message implying the AI gateway has blocked the response. Now, this works because we have data leak prevention or DLP profiles that scan the requests going into and out of the AI. These policies can detect credit card numbers, customer records, source code, bank accounts, and any kind of sensitive data pattern that you define with regular expressions. When a violation is detected, namely when it hits the private network that you've built on Cloudflare, we can catch it before it reaches its destination, which in this case is the end user's device. So let's bring this all back together. How does Cloudflare help you govern AI usage across your company? First, we give you complete control over application access. We've used our secure web gateway policies to block unsanctioned public AI tools and redirect users to approved corporate alternatives. Second, the corporate alternative in question is running on our serverless compute platform, Cloudflare Workers, allowing you to surface whatever kinds of LLMs or AI tools that can best serve your employees' needs. Third, we're protecting both privately hosted AI apps and public AI services with our ZTNA solution and implementing data protection controls over every session by rendering an isolated version of the web page when anyone accesses it with an unmanaged device. And finally, we have an AI gateway sitting between our AI application and one or more LLMs. And it's going to monitor the costs and content of all employee prompts and responses, preventing the misuse of sensitive data and creating complete audit trails for compliance and incident response. And all of this is possible due to Cloudflare's massive global presence and its comprehensive networking, security, and compute platforms. And since you're managing your network with Cloudflare, we can make sure the rules change and apply anywhere that you need them to, because we'll be everywhere that you are too. For more information on Cloudflare's AI capabilities, visit cloudflare.com slash AI solution and check out more videos on our YouTube channels. Hi, I'm Simon from Cloudflare. Congrats on finding this video. We also cover a wide variety of topics, including application security, corporate networking, and all the developer content the internet can hold. Follow us online, and thanks for watching.